So Spirit just dropped a new teaser for the 2024 season, revealing a lot of new animatronics. So we're going to go ahead and analyze this in this video. So the first prop here I want to talk about is I believe to be the Ringmaster. Now I'm not too sure if this is the Ringmaster, but I think it's trying to be a Ringmaster, but I think this might be what the actual animatronic looks like. So he kind of has, you know, the iconic like red velvety uh, maroon coat and the gold on it. And he has a cane, which is pretty cool. So kind of like a, just a classic Ringmaster, but nothing too much from there. Now here, I don't think this is a new animatronic, I just think it's a prop that might be using the themes. It kind of has like an ice cream parlor hat on it, so it makes me think that we might be getting an animatronic of the ice cream clown, if, you know, there is more to be revealed still. Now here's pretty interesting. This is Barnaby the bear, this is his feet. Now, I was thinking he was going to be a tricycle bear, but he's actually going to be a balancing bear on a ball. And he might not be as big as we thought, but that's okay. Um... It's very interesting. I don't know how this is going to work with the, the mechanism and everything. I don't know if he's actually going to move or what, but it is a very cool concept that he's actually balancing himself on a ball. Um, and I'm very excited to see this animatronic in stores. Now, this next one is without a doubt Nibbles the Clown. So as you can see here, he's holding a lollipop kind of like Uncle Charlie, but it has a bite taken out of it. And his mouth is also very like jagged looking with very sharp teeth and blood running down it. I kind of wish he was nibbling something else to be honest, like maybe like more like a human arm or something. Um, I think that should have been a bit scarier, you know, having him, you know, eat a lollipop is like the most normal thing you can ever have. Um, I think the face kind of looks cool though. I'll just have to wait and see until we actually get a full look on this guy, but overall I'm not too impressed by it. Now we have one of our first licensed props, Michael Myers. This definitely looks to be the Halloween 2 version. The clothes just look really dark, although it could be the lighting. Um, but either way, I do think it is the Halloween 2 version. But yeah, I mean, it looks like your standard Michael Myers, kind of like the one we saw from 2018 and even Party City. So pretty excited for it, but overall it's nothing too grand. Next up, we have Cotton Candy Dan. Now this one, I wasn't too intrigued with the name but now seeing what it actually does it's kind of you know a bit more interesting of an animatronic basically it's this guy who's like kind of uh, making cotton candy i guess and with that stick that he has he pulls up i believe what is a head wrapped in cotton candy that's just hiding in the bucket of cotton candy very cool concept very unique i was kind of hoping he wasn't going to be a clown but from the looks of it it kind of is i think going to be a clown but either way it's still a very unique concept and honestly i'm quite impressed with this one next up we have the uh graveyard ghoul whatever it was called the gravestone ghoul um i thought it was going to be a jump scare prop to be honest but as we can see here the prop is already kind of out in the open with its hands on the tombstone so i don't believe it's going to be a jump scare prop but it could be a rising animatronic um we can't see the face obviously but overall it doesn't seem like anything too uh out of box or you know super creative for halloween just kind of a generic budget uh gravestone prop so you know it is what it is i guess now, this next image isn't exactly an animatronic, but I believe it is one of these sneak peek like, sets that they made for an animatronic. I'm not sure which prop this is going to be. If I had to take a guess, I'd either say Wanda Webworth, it's kind of like a science-y, you know, radio radioactive kind of thing, or the giant death ray as like, and like a supervillain is like using these chemicals to make a giant death ray. Something along those lines, but we're not too sure for now. This next one's nothing too special. It's just a poster of Monty, something that we'll probably be seeing in the themes. There's a lot more posters in the video as well, such as Henry Hustle, Dagger Mike, and Stilts the Clown. Next up is the return of the Creepy Towering Clown. As we can see here, his legs. Nothing too much to say about this one. It is just the Creepy Towering Clown. You know, we've seen him for years now. Um, super popular animatronic. You know, it makes sense that he's, that he's uh, bringing brought back. But yeah. Next up, we have Mac Straw. Now, this is a very interesting one. I was expecting to see a really, like, crazy-looking scarecrow, but from the looks of it, if you look within the corn stalks, he's just a very happy, vintage-looking scarecrow. Not really what I was expecting. My guess here is that he'll be one of those new animatronics from Techie where it turns and it's like, an, like a demonic face. That's what I think we'll get here. You know, we'll have a happy scarecrow face, and he'll flip over, and he'll have a scary face. My guessing here, or my reasoning here for thinking that is because he doesn't have any legs. He looks like he's floating, so... We'll see with that, but I kind of hope that is what it is, because if it's not, then I don't understand why they were going with this happy scarecrow. Next, we have these two little uh, stuffed animals that you see like at a carnival, this one being of Ghostface in the background, Michael Myers, kind of just showing that these are the two, I guess, iconic uh, lash or slasher characters that we're getting for this year, which is pretty cool, but no actual reveal of the animatronic of Ghostface. Now this one, I'm not too sure who it is. I think it's either the Cremator, because it kind of looks like it's very like 
burnt like on fire or something like the chest looks like it's on fire the background's on fire and the skull is on fire or it could be the dark princess because it kind of looks like it has like a dress on of some sort but i think it is the cremator maybe um there's another image kind of showing another thing that it could be the cremator so that's the cremator and this is possibly the dark princess i'm not too sure tell me down in the comments below what do you think but overall i like the fiery like elements of it it is pretty cool Next up, we have the Bride from the Corpse Bride. This is a uh, one of two animatronics I'll be getting for the Corpse Bride. I don't know if it's going to be together or separate, um, but overall, it looks pretty accurate to the film. I like the, the flowers that she's holding. You know, it's very in character for her. Speaking of Corpse Bride, we now have Victor from the Corpse Bride. He's holding the ring that he places on the statue of Emily to, you know, I guess, send him to the uh, land of the, the dead or whatever you want to call it. Again, very accurate, very skinny, kind of like Jack Skellington. Very uh, just cool animatronics in general. Now, this one is one that I just can't figure out what it is. This is the other one that I think could be the cremator because it looks like it has some kind of orangey coloring to it. And it looks more like a machine, which I can see the cremator honestly being some kind of machine um, versus an actual, you know, demonic character. Uh, so we'll kind of have to just wait and see what this one is. Maybe it's just the background to a sneak peek video. Who knows? Now, this one is, of course, the reveal of the art, the clown animatronic. Now, we just see a bloody paint. This art was here. I'm assuming that's for the background of the sneak peek video. And we can actually see in one of the Flash's art's face, and it does look like he is wearing these sunglasses. So this animatronic might be like Party City, where he comes with the sunglasses and you can take them off, or it might be permanently with the sunglasses. I don't know, but it's kind of neat to see that. Now, this one right here is pretty interesting. This is a spinning wheel. I don't think it's going to be a prop, but in the flashes that we get, we get two flashes from this thing. And the first one here is a skull that we have not seen before. At least I don't think we have. It's not the black heart like in the previous teaser. It's of a new skull. And I'm not too sure which one it is, to be honest. It could just be a brand new prop in general, in which case I have no clue who it would be. Now, this next one, I can't tell what it is. It kind of looks like a clown holding a pie to me or someone holding some kind of pie. I don't know what it is. Um, I'm assuming we'll be seeing it in the next few days, though. And the last thing that I caught from this trailer or teaser was this poster in the background of what seems to be like the silhouette of a new animatronic. Now, I'm going to guess and say that this is the Ringmaster. Um, I don't really know who else it would be, to be honest, unless it's just someone completely new. Maybe um, Bobby Strings. It does kind of look to be pretty thin, like a puppet. But we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, overall, this is all we've gotten for the teaser so far. I think because this is the first teaser it's kind of like an introduction to the carnival that we'll be seeing teasers every day or every other day from here on out so anyways guys that's gonna do for this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and tell me down in the comments below what do you think of this first teaser anyways i'll see you guys in the next one bye